What's going on, Creative Beast Enthusiast? I'm back again and here to review the Denonicus Anterior Hoppus. Let's go. All right, here we go. Looking at the Deinonychus in its box. We got our beautiful packaging art here. You know, the, all the packing parts and accessories, the stand, the feet, and the dinosaur itself. And you can kind of see the trading card in there. And we flip around the side, Deinonychus, 118th scale. Along the back, we have our cross cell with all of our amazing other dinosaurs and our first mammal. And along the bottom, you can see the credits. And uh, who sculpted this guy? I don't know who that is. Probably some lame -o. Well, moving on. Let me get this guy out of here. Got one clamshell this time. And we got our background art image here. And then we got our awesome Denonicus here. Let's peel off that card for later. Get this all cut out. Snip. Now it's out. All the tiny pieces. Woo! All right, look at this. We got our uh, drop tail Denonicus morph. Grows his tail back, right? And got all our little feet. Got our stand, got our stand accessories, got this really nice kind of warm brown coloration along the top, got the white underbelly. We have a continuation of all that detailing underneath the feathering. And this size, I mean, it's really, really impressive what they what we're able to do. And then of course, articulated mouth. Check that out. I didn't even realize this guy had a purple mouth. That's pretty cool. Chris will love that. Yeah, well, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at all the articulation. Starting at the head, we've got a barbell joint. You can look all the way up, you can look all the way down, left, right, and of course, you know, the open and closing mouth. And then you got another barbell here at the torso and neck. So you can go up, you can go down, left to right, and then you have another barbell at the torso. So you go up, down, side to side. Of course, you can rotate it. Lots of nice articulation there. There's actually disc joints in the shoulders, even at such a small size. So you can get the arms to flare right out. And then there's swivel here and swivel here. And then moving on, we've got ball joints at the hips and they can move all the way around. Probably get it all the way if you wanted to. There is some movement in and out. And then there's another disc here at the knees, and then down here at the metatarsals, and those can swivel and hinge, and then ball-jointed feet. And moving on, last but not least, we have our barbell joint here at the tail, and all throughout this beautiful tail here, there is bendy wire. You move it all the way around, twist it, you can do whatever you want with this tail. It's really, really awesome. And we'll take a look at all the additional accessories. We have two additional sets of feet. We have walking feet let's see hard to see so they're so tiny and then we have an additional set of feet for running where the toes are extended backwards and we'll see more of that in the articulation segment and then moving that aside we have the return of our little velociraptor 18th scale base where it says beast of mesozoic in the clear stand with a little peg and we have our arm here to utilize you just pour it right in there or it comes with two toe clips here just in case you lose one and then you can use it here and clamp down the toes in the base so that he can stand more secure but we'll take a look more at that in articulation segment let's go and here we go for the articulation segment all right let's see what we're gonna do bring in our base here actually you know what let's use one of the toe clamps if we need it this guy stands pretty good on his own as you can see boom All right, and what do you say we bring in one of our brand new medium-sized stands? Get this guy posed up flying in the air. Check that out. <laughs> Boom. What do you say we bring in some other dinosaurs? Got our mighty Utah Raptor. <laughs> I say we add more. And the kilometer while we're at it. Let's throw in all the raptors.
And we got our awesome trading card here with the artwork by Gabriel and on the back all of the information about the Donatica species. All right, now we're gonna duplicate our package art here. We need something else to put them on. Gotta put them on something feathered. I need another little raptor. Boom. And like always, thanks again for watching our Deinonychus preview. From the prehistoric to the fantastic Kirby Studio! Studio!